my beautiful people welcome back to my channel this is your girl Shireen Latoya and today we'll be discussing my second paycheck that I received on February the 10th well it's actually my first regular paycheck but my second paycheck because my first paycheck I got in February like I stated in my previous video was an overtime check and I told y'all the breakdown of the overtime check and how that overtime check was going to be dispersed and now we're going to go over my First regular paycheck, but my second paycheck of February, and I'm gonna um, let y'all know how that one got dispersed in the ins and outs of that. So we're gonna open up to February. Okay, so I got paid on Friday, February the 10th, which is my regular paycheck, and I was supposed to. In a previous video, I told you guys that I was supposed to put that whole check. And my bills account to pay for my bills for the month of February, but I forgot that I had um, to pay for VP after school um, care for my son. So that was two hundred dollars that I had to subtract from that paycheck and put to pay my son's after school activities, that after school care. So that was $200 less than what I had to put in for my bills. So when I get paid again on the 17th, which is an overtime check, I have to put an extra $200 over there. But we're going to, I'm just going to tell you guys like what, how much I put over there in the savings. Cause like I told y'all before that I have to put a total of $2,822 in my bill account each month to cover my bills for that month so so far we have 26 22 over there in that account for the bills for the month of february so i got i'm gonna bring out my handy dandy notebook so i can take notes and you guys can watch me take my notes so on february the 10th I got paid $1,100 and of that $1,100 I put $900 in there and that leaves me a balance of $200 which I put in for after school care for my son so now I still have to put another so when I get paid on the 17th of February February the 17th which is an overtime check which would be $1,300 so $1,300 so I would have to put I was supposed to only have to put Two hundred dollars in there that to take care of February's bill, correct? So two hundred dollars, and that will leave me with eleven hundred dollars. But I want to be ahead, so since I'm going to be ahead, I'm going to go ahead and put that eleven hundred dollars into my bill account to get me through March. For March is the bills, so I'll be ahead. So then I get paid again on February the 24th, which would be a regular check for me. And that check will be $1,100. And I will put that into my bills account. And then that will give me a total of $2,200 for March bills so when I get my page my first paycheck in March will will be on let's see I think that we'll get I get paid again on March the 3rd which will be a overtime check so on March 3rd which would be an overtime check so March 3rd I would need to put 600 
and $22 into my bill account. And then that will satisfy my bills for the month of March. And then I'll be ahead. So that that's the game plan right there. That's my game plan for my next four checks. So that'd be the, I mean, my next three checks because I already got paid on the 10th because today is the 13th. So I already got paid for the 10th. So I got three more paychecks that I've already accounted for. And I want to say one thing that works good for me is budgeting out every penny that I have. Budgeting out every cent, like writing down every bill that I owe the balance of every credit card the balance of every loan the balance of everything that i have to pay out each month me writing that down and knowing how much i got to pay out each month gives lets me know how much money that um out of each paycheck that i could put towards my bills and what i could put towards paying off something because my goal for this year is to be debt free by the end of this year. I will. I, will, I know that with me, I've already pre-calculated out everything that I owe and how what my bills are going to come out and what credit cards I'm going to pay off first, what loans are going to get paid off first. And with me calculating all of that into my bills, I mean, into calculating everything out, I know exactly when my all of my bills will be paid off what month they're going to be paid off and when I'll be debt free because right now I'm looking at looking to be debt free in February of 2024 I'll be completely debt free I won't have no debt no nothing I'll be free and clear of all the debt that I have in my name I'll be free and clear and that's my goal is to be free and clear and then I start what I'm going to do like instead of my, me getting myself back into debt again whatever I decide I want I got to make sure that I plan out anything that I, a big purchase is going to be planned out I'm going to save for it and I'm going to pay it pay it off in cash if I can like my Mercedes that I'm going to be getting I plan on having the money to pay it off in cash in my account but when I go and get it I'm going to get it and put down a hefty down payment and then make whatever. Um, say, for instance, my Mercedes Benz is going to be $65,000. I'm going to make sure I have that $65,000 in my account. And I'm going to spl split my payments, so $65,000 worth of payments, into 12 months. And whatever that is, if it's, um, let's, let's, get my let's get the calculator out so I can show y'all what i mean when i say this so yeah just in case you're a visual learner like i am so i'm gonna say my mercedes is sixty five thousand dollars we're gonna divide that by 12. so each month that means each month that i have my mercedes for a year i'm gonna make a payment of five thousand four hundred and sixteen dollars and sixty six cents but I will, me, I will round this up to the nearest whole dollar. So I will do 4000 I mean $5,417 a month until I get my uh, Mercedes Benz paid off. And I pay it off within a year. Even though I know it will be more, a little bit more because the interest, the interest that will be on it. But it won't be much interest on them, uh, that I will have to pay because I'll be paying well over what the minimum the uh, monthly payment will be so the interest shouldn't eat me up too bad so it'll probably be a couple dollars off of what the um total price of my vehicle will be at the end when i pay it off in those 12 months but that's my goal on how i plan on paying paying off things in the future so if you guys want to see more tips and see how I continue to budget out each paycheck once I get my pay each paycheck because I'm not going to lie for the month of February is going to just be me putting money from one account for my 
regular account into my bill account from a regular account to my bill account so if you guys want to see when i actually start going into debt paying off my debt and how i'm paying it off i will start working on paying off my debt in march so make sure you hit that subscribe button so that when i post start posting my video or more videos of me paying off my debt you will start see that you'll get a notification Whenever I post the video start um in March with me paying how I actually start paying off stuff and then you'll see kind of get where I'm going at with me being a month ahead and how I budget out each paycheck and what I plan on doing with each pay paycheck and how I plan out every dollar and every penny that is earned that is earned from my job and how I plan I even budget out my gas like I know that. I have to have a hundred I keep a hundred dollars out for gas even though my gas is only seventy dollars is thirty five dollars to fill up my tank every two weeks so every month I need at least seventy dollars to fill up my tank the other thirty dollars is for me to get whatever little whatever little nits and nets that I decide to get for that month and what that's the only thing that's I'm only allowing myself thirty dollars because technically I don't need to be buying nothing else because we got, you know how your parents used to say it's food at the house. We got food at the house. So why do I need to go out here and buy unnecessary food when it's food at the house? But if I decide to go buy food, I know I got $30 and once some $30 gone for the month, baby, you going to eat what's at that house. But uh, this concludes this video for today. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you love uh, this content. I plan on giving, pushing out more content like this. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your post notification bell so you can stay informed every time your girl posts another budget video. Yeah.